Sim Tunji, Yokihiri, Yerik Mimo, Kokihiri, Falling Tunji. So in China is a link, and the links are many. But the main link is from Growling in North Sky to Geelong in Victoria, where I met uh, Stuart McPherson, whose people came from here in Growling. And that's such a, such a strong link, 1852 to date. And they, he still has actual material culture from here in his, in his sitting room in a farmyard in Victoria. Everybody thinks they know about the clearances, and we kind of do, but when you get a very specific story, which is set here, just up the hill there, this uh, abandoned village just kind of evacuated through very extreme circumstances. But we don't necessarily hear so much about what happened in Australia and the very, very close links here from Growlin to Australia, where the people were cleared to. had never thought of myself and of my ancestors and of settler Australians, European Australians, being immigrants before and being immigrants from coming from adversity to adversity and then causing a lot of adversity in the place that they landed. This idea of being cleared and then going to a new place and the way that you are able to demonstrate your ownership or the mechanism for ownership in Australia is to cause enormous environmental destruction in the land that you're on without really thinking about what was there beforehand. And the fire went out in the morning so early They took down the slurry to take on the journey No smoke, no singing while the air around as we stepped on a boat bound from Melbourne. Anne asked me to write something for the project and I had heard the historian Hugh Cheap uh, talk about objects being a witness to history and I thought that's the key. So I wrote uh, a spoken word, also song, it floats between both, in the voice of the Slowry the hook and chain that was taken from Growlin by the family who were cleared to Melbourne on the ship, the Priscilla. And that's my piece. I am the slowry, the hook and chain. Each link holds a story, the old refrain of loss and profit, greed and gain. People and places, so many faces and too many farewells again and again. The thing that always strikes me about Growling is that it's an awful lot bigger than an awful lot of other uh, cleared townships. You arrive into it and we've got one or two buildings, but then if you actually look at the extent, 
It, it runs like a, like a street in many ways. Having linked these two things that are so passionate to me, that be that being the whole clearance of, of a township and the wonderful songs that were collected here in the 1930s, we are taking these songs and making them contemporary. They can't just sit on the pages of a book. I am the slow reader of the book, and the change is to comes a story to your present story, of loss and profit, of greed and kid, people and places, in all many places, and to so many 